Here's my solution for the fourth video assignment. So I decided to do the first question or 16-104. So the givens are that the acceleration A equals to four feet per second squared. The velocity at point A is six feet per second. And we need to find the acceleration going at B, the top point over here. And we also need to find the angular velocity at B. So here we're shown that a 16 foot long ladder is falling and uh, so there's this point A, point B, and 30 degrees. So we need to find what the acceleration at the top point is and what the angular, angular velocity at that top point is as well. So first, what we can do is establish what the length B is over here, which doing a little bit of trig gets us to eight feet. We can also establish a general equation, which is AB equals to AA plus alpha cross product with RB with respect to A minus omega squared R with respect RB with respect to A. So this is what we're, we're going to use later. But first, we have to find out what, the, what omega is, because we're going to be solving for what AB is and what alpha is. So we can find omega very simply by just using V equals omega cross product with R, then isolate for omega plug in our values that are given to us as six feet per second squared, or feet per second, excuse me, and eight feet. So here we get omega is 0 0.75 rads per second. And that is the answer for omega b. And now we can apply the vector components to our star equation over here. So we know that it becomes ab equals aa plus omega squared r plus alpha r. So we can add all of our little directions over here. So we know that AB is going down. We know that this, which is AA, is going to the left, which in our coordinate system, I stated that to the left is positive X or positive I, and going down is positive J or positive Y. So we need to break this apart into two different vector components. Since this is a 2D graph and a 2D question, we will only be doing x and y. So let's start with only x direction. So we know that there is not anything happening in the acceleration in the b direction going left or right. So we simply say that that's zero. Everything else does have an x component. So we leave that in and we solve for alpha. So we know that alpha after doing some basic trig and simplification becomes 1.474 rads per second squared. So then we do the same thing except in the y direction. So there is another component, which is AA, that doesn't have a y component. As over here, we labeled it being 4 going left, which is positive. So we say that's 0, and that leaves us with only one thing to solve, being AB. So just doing a few simplifications over here, we can get that AB equals to 24.924 meters per second squared going down. So basically, our three values that we obtained are omega, which is 0 0.75 rads per second, alpha, which is 1.474 rads per second squared, and ab, which is the acceleration in the b direction going down, which is 24.924 meters per second squared. And that's all.